Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about one more important problem repeatedly asked question and this type of questions generally come in the problem section of this low pass RC network. In the previous video, I have explained about the RC network, low pass RC network, uh, how it is acting as an integrator with the two simple problems. But generally those two simple problems uh, may be asked for two marks or three marks, but you may be some universities are having 8 marks and 7 marks questions especially by neglecting 2 marks and uh, short answers. So that's why I want to give you one more important problem which is generally asked for 8 marks. Okay. So an ideal 1 microsecond pulse is fed to an amplifier. Calculate and plot the output waveform under the following conditions. The upper 3 dB frequency, nothing but a cutoff frequency. Upper 3 dB frequency, low pass RC network is having upper 3 dB frequency or upper cutoff frequency. FH value is given. That is 10 megahertz, 1 megahertz and another one is 0 0.1 megahertz. So, you need to do three different evaluations. Okay, when one thing you have to consider as 10 megahertz and the one is 1 megahertz and third one is 0 0.1 megahertz. So, what you need to do is one low pass RC network is there along with one pulse input is also there. Pulse input that is TP is the time period of the signal. It is given as 1 microsecond in the first line it is given. An ideal 1 microsecond pulse. Ideal means this one. Practically, no signal will be changing abruptly. So, ideal cases always will like this only. So, this is the input voltage we are having and this is the signal we are giving at the input of this low pass RC network. This is what the circuit we have. It is V naught of T and it is VI of T. We have applied this signal at this input. Okay. Now, what are the different shapes of this output waveform? You are asked to draw the output waveform. Calculate and plot. Calculate and plot the output waveform. Suppose if it is maximum voltage V and we are having the output voltage completely V within this time period, then we can directly draw like this. And we have not achieved this V, but we have achieved something like 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 times V, then it will be taking long time to charge. Okay, depending upon the RC conditions, we have to draw this particular output waveform. Okay, let us first start with the first condition, assuming the upper cutoff frequency as FH. Okay, sometimes it may be treated as FH or some test books it may be written as F2, whatever it is, it is an upper cutoff frequency. I am taking it as FH. So, FH is equal to 10 megahertz. What is the relation between FH and RC? Because RC is the product that decides how much is the charging and discharging period. Charging, how long it takes the charging. So, FH is equal to, we know that it is 1 by 2 pi RC. Okay, we have calculated in the starting of this pulse and digital circuit subject. So, that implies we can calculate product of resistance and capacitance using this. 2 pi f h that is equal to substitute that 2 pi into 10 into mega means 10 power 6 that is equal to it will be 0 0.0159 microseconds 159 microseconds so this is what the product r into c okay now compare this product RC with respect to the input signal. What is the input signal period? 1 microsecond, which is higher. 1 micro or 0 0.0159. 1 micro input signal time period is very high. That means RC is very, very less compared to the TP. This is the condition here. Okay. Okay, let me increase the number of slides.
okay so we have got rc as 0.0159 microseconds now compare this rc whatever we have got tp is equal to 1 microsecond and rc is equal to what we have obtained 0.0159 microseconds so this condition yields rc is very very less compared to the time period tp okay so rise time we can calculate it as rise time tr is equal to 2.2 times rc that gives 0.035 microseconds rise time is very very less value that means rise time is very very less value means immediately immediately it charges to the maximum value that is the condition okay rise time is very low means it takes very low time to reach its steady state okay so therefore the output v not is given by the output v not of t is equal to v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc this is the expression for the exponential signal why it is exponential signal when a capacity is trying to charge to the maximum voltage always it accomplishes a signal called exponential signal that's why we should consider this okay so at t is equal to tp what is the value we need to find at t equal to tp v naught of t is equal to v into 1 minus e power minus tp by rc we know the values of tp and rc if you substitute that you will get approximately equal to v you will get approximately it is v so for the signal we are applying a time period with tp like this then the output waveform i am drawing here it takes very short time to reach the output this is the output waveform okay red color output waveform this is the input waveform hope you understand what i have done first i have calculated rc value after that i have compared rc and tp by comparing rc and tp only we can we could understand something what is that whether the capacitor charges immediately or it takes very long time to charge what is the condition we have got here rc is very less compared to tp that means it takes very less time to charge that is the condition it takes very less time to charge otherwise you can also do one more thing we can multiply this rc with 2.2 so that you can calculate rise time rise time is equal to 0 0.035 microseconds means it is also very less <coughs> okay that means it takes very less time to charge to the maximum value okay so that's why this is the output waveform now in the similar way you can also calculate the remaining two cases what is the second frequency 1 megahertz okay so second condition the higher cutoff frequency it is given as 1 megahertz so rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi e of 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 1 mega 10 power 6 is equal to same values but points will be changed now it is 0 0.159 microseconds this is rc value now again we know tp is equal to 1 microsecond compare these two again rc is less compared to tp but here not much less it is just less than tp hope you understand the difference between the previous case and this case okay so here also you can calculate rise time rise time tr is equal to 2.2 rc see by seeing this condition alone if you are able to draw you can draw directly you are not asked to calculate any rise time and uh, output voltage equation 
okay but just i want to say you very explicitly that's why i'm saying all this so tr is equal to 2.2 rc so 2.2 into rc is nothing but what is the value 0 0.159 microseconds so that is equal to rise time also we are applying it at 0 0.35 microseconds and similarly the output voltage v naught of t is equal to which is v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc same expression but with different values yeah t is equal to tp <coughs> v naught of t is equal to v into 1 minus e power minus tp by rc value here tp is constant for every case but rc is different if you substitute that again, we will be having approximately 1, but not exactly 1, nothing but V. Okay, that means at t equal to Tp, we will be having the waveform like this. See, this is the input signal. Okay, this is Tp condition. Now, at t equal to Tp, what is the voltage we are having? It is less than maximum voltage. It is the maximum voltage. Okay, it is the maximum voltage, but we are not achieving maximum voltage now. At t equal to Tp, we will be having just slightly less than the input signal. That's why we have to show the output waveform like this. Later, it goes like this. Hope you understand what I have said in the previous condition and now. In the previous condition, at t equal to Tp, output reaches V. But here we have not reached V, we have just reached the V, but it is less than maximum voltage. Okay. Now, similarly, let us move on to the third case. So, third case or C, that is FH is equal to how much? 0 0.1 megahertz. Now, this is 1, 0 0.1 megahertz. So, RC is equal to 1 by 2 pi FH is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 0 0.1 into 10 power 6. That is equal to, it is now 1.591 microseconds. It is RC value. What is TP? TP is 1 microsecond only. Now, see, now see the conditions. See, we know... Tp is equal to 1 microsecond. Now, which is higher? Rc is higher. So, Rc is greater than Tp. I am not saying it is much far away from Tp, but it is greater than Tp because Rc is 1.59, which is greater than 1 microsecond. Okay. Now, what will be the condition? Again, calculate Tr, rise time. <coughs> rise time even if you calculate it is um, very 2.2 into rc see whatever you have got here and similarly v naught output voltage v naught of t is equal to v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc okay yet t is equal to tp v naught of t is equal to v into 1 minus e power minus tp by rc see now rc is higher value rc is higher value that's why this value becomes 0 0.466 volts 466v see now it is even not reaching the 50 percent of the maximum voltage at t equal to tp so, you can simply draw the output waveform in this condition as this is T, V, V or V in or V out, whatever we are drawing here. And this is the input signal. Maximum voltage is V, it is Tp. Now, see the output waveform. Can you draw the output waveform? Just you try and see after that. See. At t equal to tp, we have obtained it as 0 0.466. 0 0.466 means approximately here. Okay, it is 50%, 0 0.5. Now, 
it is the waveform like this and it discharges like this okay this is the condition for rc greater than tp so practically with the help of example problems also i am proving that in integrator condition the there will be a triangular waveform for the square waveform suppose if you are having one more cycle definitely the signal goes down and again up again down so it simply converts the square waveform into a triangular waveform integrator converts a square waveform into a triangular waveform integrator means rc greater than greater than t okay this is the way how to draw the output waveform based upon the input conditions and the calculation part is also explained here okay in the next video i will start the high pass rc circuit thank you